Abolition of the all rights of inheritance. Well, there's a million dollar limit, I think, now. But if you make, if you have father and mother have worked all their lives and maybe they put three million dollars away, what right does the government have to take any of that money? It's already the taxes have already been paid on it. They shouldn't take any of it. So where are we? With the first three, we well, we're 0 for three. Well, three for three. How are you going to look at it? So we're 30, three out of three. Confiscation of property of all emigrants, that means people going out, and rebels, $10,000 limits. We're not there yet. We do confiscate some money from uh, drug dealers, and we do confiscate some money for other countries. We do freeze bank accounts and stuff. But basically, I'll give the government this one. So we're three out of four. A central bank, one of the prime ideas of the Communist Manifesto. We got a central bank, the Federal Reserve. Do we know who the people are, the partners of the Federal Reserve? No. We'll go into that later. So four out of five. So we're, we've, we've met, met four out of five of those Communist Manifesto points. Government control of communication and transportation necessary? Yeah, I guess so. High technical field. But there's also a fairness doctrine out there where they're going to say, and it's going to come back, because they can pass every law now they want to using reconciliation. This is, this is right, we're in the throes of a dictatorship. Because they use all these tricks, they say, all right, fairness doctrine. All right, we'll take uh, Glenn Beck off the radio for, we got to replace him with some guy that, girl, to give you the other side of the story. You can't get the truth from the newspapers. You can't get the truth from the mainstream news. If they cut the internet off or they, they start to cut the radio off, you're not going to know anything. That's the last straw. That's the last straw. That's right. They're already working on that call. In case of an emergency, this is what they do in China. You know, when China doesn't like what's going on on the internet, they cut it off. Well, this government that we have now, in the name of net neutrality, is trying to take control of that internet. In cases of emergency, they'll be able to control it. They're going to cut it right off, if they get it. The danger is now using the reconciliation process. Uh, unless we can get some people out and new people in, we really got to work hard between now and November. I don't mean to get somebody elected, but to avoid these laws being passed. Okay, uh, so, yeah, we'll give them a half a one on that because they, I mean, there is some, they have to give out licenses for uh, frequencies and stuff like that, but the danger is they're also making a lot of reg regulations. They give these private companies, you've got to have public radio, you've got to have shows like this and that. So there's a lot of rules in there, but we'll give them half of it. So let's say we're at, uh, out of six, we're at four and a half. So we have 45 out of 60 going there. Government ownership of the means of production. General Motors, Chrysler, run our way, right? There's another one. Uh, government control of labor. Now, certain things that they should control. But that, the OSHA requirements, you know, all of these uh, forms, Oh, by the way, you know, that's gasoline. On, don't drink it. Don't eat it. I mean, it's kind of stupid stuff. It's over-regulations. We have uh, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. What's that for? For quotas? Is to put pressure on private corporations? You get all these other, all these other kind of things uh, pushing out. Why do you think all these corporations, or a lot of them, are going to Mexico? We've had that in this county. Good money-making businesses getting out of the state because in order to have a business, not only do you have to have uh, workers and a manager, well, you've got to have a lawyer or two to defend yourself against some employee that decides, well, I'm not working out here. I'm going to file a a suit against them. So we are over-litigated. The cost for us, insurance, 
is what's forcing a lot of these companies out. They can go to Mexico. They don't have all the rules and regulations. I'm not saying that it all should be done away with. But there's a lot of stuff there that it's, it's crippling the smaller company. Now, if you're a big company, well, you have two lawyers already on staff. Not a big deal. But if you're a mom and pop store, they can put you out of business. I mean, Albany County now wants you to put calories on everything you make. It's insane. These people are insane, but they're, they're in control. So we win that one, too, or you lose that one. A shoe. She said shoe. <laughs> a six uh, building up in Kansas, and they didn't do anything for a good year or two. People were passing out and everything. But OSHA doesn't care about their workplaces. I, I know. I, I worked down at a trade center for a couple of years, okay. and they were exempt. Yeah, they're exempt. They were exempt from all, all the requirements, even the safety requirements. We had a 110-story building, and there was no uh, a fire retardant system in the building. No, no, uh, they run the water through it. What do you call that? Sprinkler system. 110 stories, no sprinkler system, exempt. So that's right, You're, that's exactly right. But all those rules and regulations, they don't, uh, they usually just apply to the small guy. A government regional planning. There is an attack right now on family farms by our federal government, either directly, what they're doing, I'll give you an example in Wisconsin, what they're doing there, they couldn't get the NAIS, the National Animal Identification System, through at the federal level. So what they're doing now is they're giving $100 million to the states, and the states are trying to do it. They're going a, a, around the end. But if you're a corporate farmer and you have more than 1,000 head, you're exempt. So who are they trying to put out of business? Have you read about this in the newspapers? No. OK, so that's another one for us. That's, well, what are we at now? Eight and a half, seven and a half out of nine. So the last one, government control of education, 85% of the Communist Manifesto is already implemented in this country. The government, you know, we used to, in 1980, in the late 70s, 1980, our scores for math, reading, and science were at the top. Since we created a Department of Education, which is manned mainly by the National Education Association, which is basically a socialist-run uh, organization, I'm not knocking the teachers. It has nothing to do with the teachers. They have to live with what comes out of there. They've rewritten our textbooks. They've downplayed American history. They've uh, played up history of other world, third world countries, Europe. And it's all done by design. You know, there was a, an organization in the United States called UNESCO. It was United Nations Education, something or other, many years ago. Reagan threw them out, President Reagan. He ordered them out of the country because a lot of the stuff they were trying to get into the books were radical, anti-American stuff. This is where, you know, the old dead white men kind of syndrome. Well, we don't have to pay attention. There was a move in North Carolina to, st to start history of the United States in 1870. This is recent. This is in the last week or two. The school board in North Carolina wants to do away with all the other history. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're at 85% of fulfilling the Communist Manifesto. If you don't believe me, I'll give you the words of David Rockefeller. Some even believe that we are part of a secret cabal working against the best interests of the United States, characterizing my family and me as internationalists, and of conspiring with others around the world to build a more integrated global political and economic structure. One world, if you will. If that's the charge, I stand guilty, and I am proud of it. This is one of the people, there's quite a few of them, this is the money that's moving this system. 